What is up? I hope y'all had a nice weekend. Mine was good. Um, I had to work on Saturday, which was my sixth day in the row. Yep, we were actually open on the 4th, and um, I didn't have much family stuff going on that particular day, so I volunteered to work so we could run a skeleton crew and some of uh, some of the fellows could have a, have a day off. Uh, I know, it was dumb. At around about 1 o'clock in the afternoon when um, no work was coming in and I wasn't making any money, I uh, I was reminded of that old military adage of never volunteer for anything. <laughs> but I guess I can rest on my laurels with the pride that I took care of my fellow workers, and I'm sure they appreciate it. They don't. They don't appreciate shit. <laughs> There's a... There's a theory on the scope of awareness, and, you know, everybody's, everybody's awareness is different, and um, people that have a very, very narrow awareness of, of how they affect those around them or how others are attempting to help them um, is pretty aggravating, but, and, I, and I get it. I feel like maybe I've been on both sides of the fence, and I'm certainly not uh, not God's gift to the world of awareness. Uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty small myself. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we got that. Um, obviously, you notice I didn't put out three videos a day, or actually, I don't think I put any videos up this last weekend. And the reason for that is I've just been going over. Uh, financial news and and also uh, balancing out the family life and and honestly getting getting back involved in the uh, in the stocks and investment it's really a second job so it ends up taking quite a bit of the uh, of my extra time up and it's all good I enjoy it um, the I will say though the the banter with with other traders on here um, I don't know for the audience that kind of tracks what these dudes are saying to each other. Um, realistically, um, we could all be successful or we could all be a bunch of failures and you would you wouldn't be able to tell it by the way that that we trade. So let, let me explain. Um, everybody has a different vision of of the markets and how how they go about making money. Uh, in my case, there are there are processes that that I've done in the past that um, I ended up getting away from because they weren't making money for me and my style of um, of investing. Other people, however, could take that exact same situation, those exact same purchases that I had, and be able to make good with it, and vice versa. So, in the case of, uh, I don't know, I, if you're following everything that's going on, in the case of, of Josh with, with his uh, SLV thing, you may notice that in the comment section you got Aralon Trading and a couple of the other guys asking him questions. And um, I, as I was reading them myself, I, I got to thinking, um, you know, Josh's methods of of making money and of and of recognizing potential profit is going to be very individual and and so it is with with this sort of business it's it's very individual and I was reminded of it I actually took three hours out of my time to watch a documentary from uh, it seemed like I think it was in England and they took eight complete novices to the stock market industry and they gave them a million pounds which is the British uh, currency they gave them a million pounds to invest and it was a very interesting experiment it's a three-part deal and I'll put the first I'll put a link to the first part in the description bar if anybody has any questions about my view actually I may do a proper view review of the 
series. You know what? No, that's what I'm going to do. I'll do a proper review. In the meantime, I will put a link to episode one. Make sure you got some time on your hands because, like I said, it's three episodes, uh, 58 minutes to an hour each with no commercials. But it's good for, um, one, if you have no no investment experience whatsoever, you can kind of get an idea of what these people who come may come from a similar walk of life to you uh, had to face in this so easy of an industry. And two... If you are a stock market guru type that is looking to help people, um, episode three has some very interesting uh, conclusions or observations regarding uh, the psychology of the people that, uh, one, attempt to get in this business, or two, eventually fail out of it. Uh, but it's a... Uh, it's a cool series, and, and like I said, I, I think I will go ahead and review it. So, um, yeah, look for that. Hopefully, I'll be able to get that buttoned up because, uh, again, I'm going on vacation, I think, tomorrow, which will be Tuesday, July, the whatever the hell, um, will be my, no, no, I'll do a video or two on Wednesday, I think. Could be Tuesday, could be Wednesday, and then I'll be off of here for a week, which would be nice. Not that, uh, not that I don't enjoy making videos, but uh, it's it's nice to unplug and then come back. It's sort of like when you, when you play guitar a lot, and then you come back after a short break, and everything just goes smoother after that. I could, I could use the break. I'm feeling a little bogged down. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So yeah, look. Uh, let me knock out that that review of the the series because I got a couple other things I want to talk about. So we'll see y'all later.